Hello, everybody. I am FDA. I am your Gunner's friend. And I'm Tron John. And, what... and I'm in control oh. of this crazy thing. Christ. Welcome back to uh, World 4, Part 1. Just hanging out. Crash Bandicoot 2, Cortex Strikes Back. Warped! Sure, why not? Whatever you want, birthday boy. Crash is so cute. This oh, game. God, not <laughs> one of these ones. Welcome back. Uh. Oh, okay. Fucking TJ has no to deal with these guys, apparently. Yeah, he didn't die in six seconds like you did. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Jesus. All right. It's a little... Oh. You better be quick on the draw, TJ. In this town crashes the law. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh. I was so sure you were going to fall into that. You have to. You have to. I was so sure you were going to fall into that. What the hell, TJ? <laughs> Jeez, this smoke. <laughs> nice save, me. That's, yeah, that, was, that was a pretty good save, then. <laughs> it was even better because he said, nice save, me. <laughs> Someone's got to reassure me. <laughs> uh, I forget, Chris. It's no. Been, it's been a while since I played one. Was uh, there much of this stuff in one? Like, um, like grabbing onto bars and shit? I think that's new in this uh, game. Yeah, I don't remember that. Shit! Whoa! Crash pretty strong. I gotta say, honestly, I don't remember one of one just because I dreaded playing it. So. Yeah, I, I had it and my mother was annoyed because after like an hour I just used the super cheat to get the cortex. <laughs> I may have done that too. As an adult. I used to I used to do the super cheat just so I could um get all the gems and then the second to last level jump over them to get the good they to get like the funny ending. Mm -hmm. Where you ride off on like a dragon with yeah. uh, Tawana. And like you know, like Kuala Kong went to Hollywood to become an actor and all this weird shit. You know, then he became a Pokemon. Shit, yeah. Oh, that's what I'm gonna name my koala. <laughs> <laughs> Not oh. even the koala Pokemon. That's just what I'm gonna name my pet koala. <laughs> no, I, I, did, be... I didn't mean the koala Pokemon, but yeah, my pet koala is gonna be named Koala Kong. <laughs> I forgot that Koala Kong was a character. Yup, he's in Crash Bash, right? <clears throat> yeah, he's in Crash Bash. But he wasn't in Crash Team Racing. I was about to say, he was so shitty, he didn't even make it into the good game. Who made Crash Bash? Uh... <clears throat> Vivendi? Vivendi, yeah, it Someone must have been. at Vivendi, I guess, yeah. <clears throat> wasn't that Vivendi's first game? I'll look it up. With Crash, I mean? With, yeah, it must have been, because that was the fifth game in general, so that, that must have been, yeah, the first. There's no doubt, I guess. So, are they... We talked a bit last time, Chris, but you said you, you had read some interviews with the... Uh, Naughty Dog people and they talked about Crash 1 and, and 3 and 2 and all that shit and you know they, that guy was like he's proudest of Crash Team Racing that type it, of thing it seemed like it that or 2 yeah um did they did they ever go into detail as to why they were why they were, were they just like done with him as a character like you know we think, we think we've, we've made our mark with Crash Bandicoot we want to move on to other things I think it was the thing where um 1 they probably well for 1 they wanted to work on new things yeah like you know they worked on Crash since 96 at that point um, another thing was it probably just wasn't worth trying to wrangle Crash out of Universal. Mm. So it was like, well, it's just you know we want to do something new, so let's just focus on that. Because didn't you say didn't you say earlier in this LP that they never owned Crash? Correct. Which is weird because you always thought it was they did. Yeah, yeah. I, I always did, and people in the comments always called me out, so I like tried to commit it to memory just so mm. I'd stop pissing people off. Um, random aside that made me giggle because I'm an immature child <laughs> and this is incredibly impolite. The composer of Crash Bash was Steve Duckworth. That's a, fan <laughs> that's a fantastic name. Life is like a so, hurricane. Yeah, the developer of Crash Bash was Uricom Entertainment Software under... Uh, the, no? Vivendi, no? Universal Distributed, Sony Published, Uricom Developed. I'm not seeing Vivendi's name. Hmm. What else did Uricom do? Oh. I want to say for Vendy at one point either made or distributed some Simpsons video games. I think they did Road, Ra Road Rage? I want to say. I think you're right. Because Radical did hit and run. James Bond Jr.? What the fuck? Bond. It's James um, Bond Jr. Disney's The Jungle Book for the Genesis NES SNES. Was a game of theirs? Yeah, okay. Earthworm Jim for Game Boy and Game Gear. Yeah. Game Gear? Yeah. Game Gear? Mortal Kombat 3 on the PlayStation and Saturn. Uh, just shouting some names here. Duke Nukem 64. <laughs> Disney's Tarzan on PlayStation. I can only imagine. 
Crash Bash was 2000. Yeah, that lines up. Crash Bandicoot, The Wrath of Cortex on GameCube? Yep, yep, makes sense. Oh, oh. There must be a Simpsons game in there, I think. <laughs> For a second, when Chris oh, said wait. that. I think they did the GameCube port of Wrath of Cortex, because that was, um... Whoever made Twin Sanity also made that, and that is not these people. Okay. When Chris said that, I was like, I was like, whoa, they ported Crash 2 to the GameCube? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I'm still doing it! Four parts of this LP, and I'm still like, this game's called Wrath of Cortex. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> At least you admit it. I think I'm misunderstanding that company's line of For work. today. <laughs> well, we are four minutes to a new day, TJ. At the time of this recording, so... Now I'll probably forget. Here in four minutes. <laughs> oh, shit. One of these levels. Uh-oh. Keep an eye out, TJ. But Dr. Eggman... Oh, you didn't keep an eye out. Oh, I get... I One of Dr. Eggman's the... deadly speed traps. Deadly Venus fly traps. Wasn't there some game manual that... Sonic 3 in Europe made a, uh... The reference in the things where it's... Like, they basically... Rit off any glitches you yeah. might encounter yep. as being uh, part of Dr. Robotnik's nefarious traps. I'm sorry, that's Which so is perfect. the greatest fucking thing ever in a video. He's like, yeah, no, if, if you glitch through the floor, it's a Robotnik's doing. It's a speed trap. Yeah. I mean, duh. What else could it be? Ah, TJ, breaking up them lives. I'm proud of you. Oh, goodness, level. I thought this was one of the ones where you have to burrow underground, but I think it's just this No, level those aesthetic. are with bees. Yeah, yeah. It's just in these level graphics. I would have loved it if you would have gotten that, that moth and then just ran into the nitro block. Me no, too. That's my job. <laughs> frankly. Oh, oh, okay. I was like, what Whoa. the fuck? How am I supposed to get through that? She's pulling me a curveball here, not in talk. <laughs> Jeez, I'm supposed to do a rug. <laughs> <laughs> get more respect. Let's just bring up Roddy Dangerfield in every LP we do. <laughs> Let's just do that could be our thing. Let's just do a movie coming to you on Rover Dangerfield. Yes. <laughs> I, I've been yelling for that! No, that movie's fucking terrible. What? Are you wanna, serious? I just want to see all those fucking stupid faces hit dog mates. It's just, <laughs> it's just Rodney Dangerfield as a dog. How's that bad? Oh, oh, no. <laughs> I lost all this. <laughs> Garrett's, like, Garrett's like, if you need that explained to you, it's not <laughs> worth it. <laughs> Danger explained. I can only take so much stupidity. From TJ in a day. Stupidity, say, eh? Stupid Macaulay Kukokan. <laughs> Macaulay Kukokan. Fuck! <laughs> Macaulay Kukokan. <laughs> fuck! <laughs> so, so, going back to that. Jesus. Going back to the, the thing about Naughty Dog and, and Crash, because we you know, I, I, I think. Oh. I'm gonna. I, I'm gonna think. I think in World 2 we covered. Uh, we covered a lot with Naughty we, Dog. I Crash. think we covered Crash's inclusion in Uncharted Four. Yeah, I want to say we covered that already. Yeah, um, and I edited a joke about that into the last part, yeah. or the last world. So I killed the bee, but I couldn't stop from killing myself. <laughs> <laughs> There's a motivational poster for you. <laughs> Just remember when he killed you me. Had, you had a suicide pact with the bee, like in B movie. Oh god! That's the most like the fucking. There's a DreamWorks movie with a suicide pact joke in it. Thank you, Katzenberg. That's why he left from Disney. Disney wouldn't allow that. Did you guys see where he has a, the sequel on his mind? You see, I I had read the thing where like because he's he thought about it, it but yeah he, yeah he doesn't want to do it but it could still maybe happen someday and yeah this is what I was thinking of because yeah. you can go under them now and kill them I think yeah you can can't you like yeah but I don't want you to you can like punch him <laughs> like spin your fist around yeah I think but what can't you do that normally for uh, just punch people oh you know? like this it yeah only, it only works on red brick you see also that bump is so 90s CG I love it no dude that bump is fucking pure Bugs Bunny I just meant in terms of graphical quality oh gotcha Duh. It should have taken out left China Albuquerque. Albuquerque. Ooh, risky. Thought you would have hit a little bit from the bees, TJ. There's only one bee. There's a lot of bees. Careful. God, you guys are pathetic. The one that Smithers made me hate bee guy. So sick. Oh. So tense. Oh, oh God, it's Lumberjack. It's Dale Gribble! That... 
<laughs> um, well, excuse you. Here. That's Rusty Shackleford. <laughs> Shit. Here comes a bandicoot. Oh, Jesus. Oh, fuck. <laughs> That's a chibi crash. Oh, Jesus. No. I think... Don't Blowfish and 3 do a similar thing to Crash. Yeah. Yeah, perfect. Just what I want. No, I know they don't kill you in, in the running levels, but if you walk into those landmines on a normal level, will that kill you there? Uh, I'm pretty sure it does. I don't think, oh, no, I don't they think don't. those do. Oh, nope, they don't. But the B does. You know what? The, you know what that the old Gribble guy also kind of looks like to me? The old man in Courage, the cowardly dog? <laughs> Useless. Yeah. <laughs> You're just bad! <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but creepy stuff happens in nowhere! It's up to Crash! I'm gonna be sad when they give that cartoon show a oh, shitty they reboot. Can't, they can't put them for the memes. Style. I haven't oh. watched the Pop of Girl reboot, is it as bad as they say? I, I watched the first episode because it was free on iTunes. I walked away completely, absolutely neutral. Maybe it's fine and people are just overblowing it. I've... I keep seeing the uh, animation mistakes. Yeah. yeah that's... Those look, that is like, those are kind of in this day and age. Yeah. <sighs> it's weird to me that that exists on the same network as Steven Universe, because that is such a good show. <laughs> <sighs> oh, great, more well, talking. I think this oh, is going to be the first. In, in, more points. I think it's, oh no. Uh, more Coco. I'm like, when does, when does Embryo appear? What? I'm gonna guess World 4 now, Did I you guess. just... We're on World 4. I'm gonna guess World 5 now, I guess. <laughs> now, probably end of this world, then. Did you skip a cutscene, TJ? <laughs> <laughs> ah. Alright, pull... I want you to stop judging me with those eyes! This isn't Spiral the Dragon! We're gonna listen to that shit! Pull at me and just skip everything, TJ. Cut him out. <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> Gravy! <laughs> <laughs> when you said when you said jelly bean, jelly bean, <laughs> that was my favorite. Uh, we should do Spyro two next. Okay, not next, but someday. Wrath of Cortex. <laughs> Spyro, Spyro two, Wrath of Cortex, Ripto's Wrath. This the true crossover. I thought it was Ripto's Rage. That, that's the joke. Jesus, Jesus. <laughs> you gotta explain things to me. I'm a simpleton after all. What was the what was the crossover like? It's GBA? midnight. <laughs> <laughs> it was um, fuck, crash purple and spiral orange. There was some second word in either of those. Yeah, I know, but care. like, was it was it like was crash in spiral levels and spiral was in crash levels? Was that the gimmick that crash they were faced in each other's Risto games? and spiral faced cortex? But were they in each other's like level designs or? Uh, well. And maybe it did like the GBA level designs. I don't really know. I've heard it wasn't good. That's all I. Uh, that's why I never don't know anything about it. Cause I I, I thought the first um, I had the first two Crash games on GBA. They were pretty good. Uh, okay. Hmm. One was better. Crash XL. The the gimmick was like the plot was Crash XL. So the Crash XL. Oh, I was gonna say it's just like that ROM hack of Sonic Two. No, it it was like the plot was Cortex shrinks the world down. Oh, like it, okay. it pretty much plays exactly like a standard Crash game, but like the gimmick is they've even been shrunken down. Oh, that's okay. fun. I actually had that's Crash not... 2, that's, that wasn't too bad. Hmm. And then I had Spiral of the Dragon Season of Ice, which is it's a, it's a really Is that like Game of Thrones? Kind of. It's a really awkward to play isometric platformer, but it's one of the, it, I, for some reason I've 100%ed it. Hmm. What? I have not 100%ed any of the good Spiral games, just, yeah. season, just season of Ice. I heard the second one was better if you liked that one. Not that I hear much about the GBA games for mm. these characters, but I keep I keep I, I threaten on Twitter to uh, record a run and subject Catherine the Joyce oh, the Joyce friend for an LP for that yeah. yeah. Which I'm gonna do if you're listening, Catherine, which you ain't. One of these days I'm gonna record that. Sh Boy. <laughs> I thought that penguin was gonna feet? spin. I did too. She say fuck you, happy feet. Yeah. <laughs> You're doing God's work, Gareth. <laughs> <laughs> I've never At been. Lost. Somebody acknowledges that. I, I've never been more sad to hear Earth, Wind, and Fire music in a film than I was for the clip of Happy Feet I watched. <sighs> that, should, was, that should not have happened. It's really awkward. Is that like it. E. G. Daily voices like the fucking the, the main ca character mm -hmm. when he's like a baby and it's just Tommy Pickles. <laughs> 
Yeah. You do the Rugrats thing. Kids fucking love Rugrats. She did the same thing in the, the live action Flintstones movie. She voices Bam Bam. But she's just using Tommy's voice and going Bam Bam. It's like, okay. See, I always noticed that too, even when I was a kid. I was like, that's just Tommy Pickles. I remember the first time Why I... Why is she being typecast, Mom? The first, my first recollection of, of like, uh, voice acting like that, like, recognizing a voice and being confused, was, did you, any of you ever watch the show Little Drac? Little Drac? No. Little Drac was, it's pretty much, as, it's what it sounds like, it's a, a you know, Dra Drac? Dracula's son. Oh, no. Ah! She watched a lot of uh, vampires. Yeah. Uh, Dude, so I, I used to fucking love, like, I was obsessed with vampires as a kid, I fucking love that shit. Um, but like there, there's an episode where he he, he the Dra his villains are it's, the main villain of Dracula is a guy called Garlic Man. <laughs> That's amazing. I know. Right? I thought, you were, gonna, I thought you were gonna say something like it was uh, it was Van Helsing. No, and <laughs> he was always his, trying to kill little Drac. And his sidekick <laughs> No Eyes, who's a guy with No Eyes. That's a gimmick. <laughs> and like this weird little like garlic mutant thing, and they happen to go to the same school. And like the weird little mutant thing says that you know like he will I bet you, I bet you your magic scepter because he has, he has a magic scepter, obviously. Mm -hmm. He says I bet you your magic scepter you won't um, get your first bite by, by like tomorrow or what have you. Mm -hmm. And he tries to bite he tries to bite stuff and it turns out to be a statue. <laughs> so he like he breaks his tooth, puts it under his pillow, <laughs> and the tooth fairy comes for him. <laughs> and he, like like when the tooth fairy arrives, she sounds very sweet. Mm -hmm. But then obviously he bites the Tooth Fairy, and then the voice changes into Kath Susie doing Finn and Lil's mother from Rugrats. And I was like, <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> I'm like six foot. Like, Hold on a second here. That's, <laughs> wait a minute, that's, that, that, that's Betty DeVille from the Rugrats. Why, why is her voice coming out of, and why, wait a minute, why did the Tooth Fairy's voice change what you had been for? Wait, does make any sense? <laughs> Hold on a second here, let's have a look, let's have a look that up here. That's a really genius <laughs> plot for it. that show, by the way. <laughs> he bites pretty fantastic. Tooth Fairy. That show was amazing, man. There's a minute where like, they're driving, and Garlic Man goes, no eyes, keep your eyes on the road. I have you remind, I have no eyes. That's my name. It's like, that's fucking beautiful. My first thing like that, I mean, yeah, this is going to be lame and typical of me, but Spyro and Rocco. Like, he doesn't give it away too oh, much really? as See, Spyro, I don't, I don't, but I did notice it as a kid. Really? See, I didn't I noticed that too much. Mm. Yeah, I never noticed it either. I guess I just watched too much fucking Rocco as a kid. I used to love Rocco, but like... It, it was my favorite cartoon as a kid. It was, it was mine too. I'll agree with that. <laughs> That's what we should do episode commentaries on. Rocco's modern life. Just quote everything as it happens and laugh, and that'll be the commentary. That's, that's, yeah, that's, that's what we do anyway. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> oh, Jesus, that show, man. Let's just talk about that for the next couple of minutes. Let's just keep running into this fucking I'm lizard. nauseous. I'm nauseous. I still fucking love that he marries a cat with a hook hand or something. Dr. Hutchison? Whatever the <laughs> bullshit it was. Don't they have kids at some point? Yeah, there's, yeah. The, there's that episode where uh, they go to the future... And uh, Rocco and Heifer are standing there, and uh, well, there's that it's that bit, it's that meme where it says when pe people want you to hold their kids, and uh, um, if a, it, I don't it's, know this meme. You don't know fam. this meme? It's, it's, Sorry, oh Matt. shit, fam! Oh damn! It's, <laughs> it's a it's a picture it's a picture of that where uh, where Rocco is staring at the they have there's a kid that's just Heifer with Filbert's yeah. glasses, <laughs> and it's staring up at Rocco, and Rocco goes. Go away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I have the complete series that neither of you do. I can just bring that over. I keep seeing that in Walmart for like 20 bucks. It's very worth it. I, I keep bringing, I keep meaning to pick up that and uh, the Angry Beavers can be collection. Oh, God, yes. I'm going to bop you, you in next, next week. week. How long have we been awake? I was going to say, I could bring that too. since I have that as well? I have that. Oh, I love that. Those are my show. two favorites growing up. Shout Factory does, does good work. Yeah. Wish they could get some Cartoon Network licenses, because God knows they'll never release their TV. They I've did for a little bit. I have Johnny Bravo Season 1. Yeah, what? They, you know, I, I can fucking rant about that bullshit. So, there was that Hall of Fame collection, right? Johnny Bravo was one of those. They released yeah. Season 1 of all their cart some cartoons. Was that Johnny Bravo, Dexter, Cowards, Cowards, Courage, Dogs, and... Dexter. And, you know, Dexter, they got the Season 2, and they put Eagle Trip on the Season 2 DVD. I've never been able to find that. Because hmm. Eagle Trip is fucking amazing. Well, like, with Courage, like, they did all these, like, a few years ago, like, 2012, maybe, that range. 
In 2014, they randomly put out season two of Courage, not for anything else, just Courage. Okay. And then I was like pissed off earlier, a, a few months back, because I, I really want these cartoons I grew up on, and they're not uh, cooperating with me. So I go on Amazon, a little, a little, a little misty eyed, and Courage: Cowardly Dog season three is slated for like the end of March. Like it seems like every two years they're just releasing one season of Courage. I'm like, <laughs> why? What? Fuck off, Cartoon Network. I can't get Steven Universe in a recent... Yeah, recent I, want, I want... But Teen Internet Titans Go... God, season, Jesus, fuck! Season 1 of Teen Titans Go, I can get that on Blu-ray if I want. Oh, God. I actually watched a few episodes of that and didn't mind it. Oh, but really? I think... Yeah, it's dumb, I've but it's an entertaining stuff, dumb. I love the episode where, like, all the Robins <laughs> converge. That's hilarious. It's, it's like Sonic Boom for me, where... At first, I didn't like it, but then I watched it and was like, oh, wait, this really isn't that bad. I think it's the thing because I never watched the original show. Oh, I, don't. I don't. I don't care. Like, yeah. you know, it, it was like, they left it hanging, and I'm just like, yeah, it's, I don't care. Are you serious? Yeah. Are you afraid of I was dog? past it. I think for me, it's just I like the characters. I don't care about, like, I don't remember the story, honestly. Mm. I, I might care if I remembered it, but yeah, so just seeing the characters again with, like, the original voice. <laughs> I can't even give you shit because I died at that same exact positioning <laughs> when I played. It's gonna be funny when they do the uh, Pop Off Goes uh, oh, I can't wait. crossover. People are gonna be so pissed off. I can't wait. See, that would have been hype as fuck like 12 years ago if they somehow mixed the original series. Would have made less sense. Well, they they would, did cool. they did Young Justice uh, Pop Off um, the Teen Titans Go crossover. Yeah. Oh well, that's. I haven't seen that one, but everyone tells like me DC it's kind of funny. With DC though. If that makes sense. Right? Oh my god, I'm gonna fucking cry! What the fuck? <laughs> no! No. Thank you. That wasn't it. <laughs> I was just making sure. Because if you like me, you die at a later obstacle. Go on the. the yeah. Go on that. No, I was gonna say, go on that thing to get live, you idiot. Whoa! Whoa! Game over. I need some more Sega Bass fishing. Good night, everybody. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Okay, bye. Animaniacs. I always forget about that when I think of my favorite kids. That's on DVD. Am I still on DVD, son? I got them. I got most oh. of them. Oh, I thought we were going to start, like, part two. The Good idea. We'll see you in the next part. <laughs>